What do we have in this box? Well, we got a skid plate. Well, well, not a skid plate. It's a skid steer plate. Because we're making a bale spike today. So here's what's going on. If you look at this here spike, uh, this uh, hay spike, it used to be a pin on. We're gonna convert it, we're gonna change it over to where we don't have to pin it on anymore. Uh, it's gonna go on this skid steer backing plate. We have to create the, uh, we have to make it work. So give us a minute here. I'm gonna show you why there's gonna be some things that are different than what we would normally do. Number one being, that since this is a self-leveling, on the MT-573, you can't just take this off and weld it to the plate. It doesn't work like that. You, we have to actually adapt this to fit this plate so that it will tilt back far enough. how you get things done without having to do it yourself. Oh. All right, there we are. Thank you. We got it down to the, uh, the basics here. the loose. In case you're wondering, I'm a certified welder. I'm a certified stick welder. I stick them together. Cool it down. Uh, yeah, but let me get out of the way if you're gonna cool them down. Although you that may, it may feel good. <laughs> we took this plate and then we took what used to be a pin on um, hay spear and we made it mount to this plate and it works, it looks like it's gonna work just fine. The bottom of this is three inches off of the base, so it sets back more. Now you can see it's all the way back. And Jason used one the other day that was not like this. What about, what'd you have? Uh, 
it was just a normal skid steer plate but it never lifted like this because the way the 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 plate was mounted to the actual spear and this they've manufactured it that way the, when you tilt the, the stick back or the the bucket back basically it, it's only raised up like barely any i mean i, I mean probably it would only come up to maybe here before um and i think right now we still have a little bit of play yeah we do we, do, we could come back a little bit more um and get this thing higher up in the air right here um so this is probably a good i would say of just movement probably a good 10 inches at least out, out here so where where he would normally be would be about 10 inches down here this this point would be in this area and maybe with a small angle but not nothing like this so this is a problem that you're going to run into if you have an lsmt 573 and you have because you have this uh self-leveling loader a normal skid steer plate with a hay spear will not work not not like it should so we did what we did is we put a three inch uh angle iron on the bottom it's three inches out away from the bottom and then basically i just welded it in it's not painted so it may break i don't know no but it's not painted and uh we'll get to the paint later on but we got a hay move and i don't have time to paint it right now we just had to get this together So here we are today finishing this up. I appreciate everybody that's tuned in. So until next time, thanks for watching.